Okay, good evening. Um, before I get into today's Rings Park Bell versus Collierswood game, I just want to do a little recap of yesterday's uh, fixture at Carshawn Athletic versus South Park Wygate in the Velocity Cup third round. Um, it was a very, it was a young Carshawn Athletic team uh, that was put out with only like four established first teamers in the whole squad. Uh, most of the squad was made up of under twenty three. So um, yeah. But uh, they put in a really good performance, actually. Um, ended up on the, uh, winning 4-2, you know. Now, South Park, I think they're quite a strong side out. So, for our young boys to sort of play that well. But it did take uh, the more experienced players to get the goals for the Robins. I mean, uh, Aaron Smith-Joseph scored his first hat-trick in a Robin shirt for us yesterday. And, um, and Gui Baradas scored a penalty right at the end to make it... For two, but um, yeah, very good performance from the young team. Um, yeah, they all, all, uh, I mean, even the goalkeeper made some really good saves as well. So um, they, were, they all had a really good game. Uh, yeah, uh, we were reduced to ten men for quite a lot of the game because uh, Tommy Bradford uh, was sort of shown a second yellow card and a red card for diving in the box, which was ludicrous really because he was through on goal. Defender tapped him from behind. He went down. And we thought, oh, he's for his giving a penalty. No, nope, he's booked Tommy Bradford for diving. And that was that. That was his second yellow, so he had to walk, which was just ridiculous. But there you go. Hope, thankfully, it didn't uh, affect the, the result too much. And the 10 men just all got together and played really well. So, um, yeah, so I think we've got Walton Hersham in the uh, fourth round of the League Cup now. So I'm um, looking forward to that one. And it probably be the under-23s again, but um, yeah, they played well last night, so they, they probably earned it. And I should imagine Aaron Smith-Joseph has uh, earned his right to be in the starting line-up for Carl Schultz's game at Cairns Island on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, good result for the Robins. But uh, now on to tonight. Good evening and welcome to Groundhopper AJ's non-league vlog. Today I've made the trip to Grand Drive Rains Park for this... Uh, Merton A3 Derby, uh, Rains Park Vow versus Collierswood United. Um, as, uh, t both teams are having a really good season so far. Uh, Rains Park Vow are currently sitting top of the division, and uh, Collierswood United are currently sitting in third, just three points behind Rains Park. Uh, the result here last year was a 1 1 draw between the two clubs, which I was at. Uh, Carl Hope Open the scoring from Rains Park Vow and Frankie Scott uh, leveled things for Collierswood United. Um, as for their last results in the in the Combined Counties League, um, last league results were as follows. So Rains Park Vow uh, registered a good 3-1 win over Cobham over away from home, and Collierswood United registered a 10-0 victory over Shearwater in their last league game. 10-0. I mean, we got short left. did that once to a team. That's quite, that's quite something. Um, yeah, both teams are on good form. Uh, Rains Park Vow have won three out of the last five, but uh, Collierswood United have won all five of their last five. So, uh, yeah, uh, good two evenly matched teams here. Um, they did actually meet last Saturday, actually, as, as soon as that, um, uh, over at Collierswood, just down the A3. It's, uh, it was in the FA Vars third round, a uh, nice local derby in the FA Vars, and it finished Collierswood nil, Cranes Park Vale 1. So Collierswood will be looking to um, get something out of that, you know, get some revenge for that on tonight's fixture. So. Hopefully it's going to be a, a really good game uh, between two top sides who are in fine high in their league. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll, get, we'll get some goal highlights and some other highlights. So uh, until then, we'll see you at half time. Yeah. One new 
Grace Park Rail. Uh, about 23 minutes played, it's Grace Park Rail 1, Hollywood United 0. Uh, goal scorer Brad Sweeney and number seven. A good little finish. So, one Neil Wayne's Park. He's not giving that. Good save, Bill. Good tackle. Not so good tackle. Yeah. It's got a lot better in the last couple of years. Definitely. <laughs> oh! What is the So half time here at Grand Drive Rains Park and it's Rains Park Val 1, Collierswood United 0. Um, good, good entertaining game so far. Uh, both teams have had strong spells. Um, Barnes Park Val um, had a header hit the crossbar after 10 minutes, uh, but then with 16 minutes played, um, they went 1 0 up. Lovely cross from Cal McAllister. Uh, found Brad Sweeney for the post and he. Uh, Fired at home to give Rains Park Vale the lead, but uh, both sides have had good spells. It's been an entertaining game. The goalkeeper's not had much saves to make either end really, but um, there's some really good tackles going in. And, uh, yeah, and the referee's been letting it all go as well. You know, the referee's letting the game flow. So uh, yeah, it's been a really enjoyable first half so far. So um, yeah, half time here. It's uh, Rains Park Vale one. Colleagues with United Neil and hoping for more in the second half. So until then, oh, I got the goal as well. So uh, yeah, until later on, see ya. Takedown. Shoot. 
Nicely done. <laughs> Hammy's gone. Hammy's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Full time. Some ends down. Hammy's gone. <laughs> right, Full time here at Grange Drive, Rains Park, and it's finished. Uh, Rains Park Val 1, Collier's Wood United 0. Uh, just like Saturday, one goal has decided the uh, Merton Derby and it fell to Rains Park now. Uh, second half, scrappy affair. Now, wasn't, both teams sort of gave it a go, but uh, the final ball wasn't wasn't there. I don't think the goalkeeper has had much saves to make, really. But, um, you know, but Rains Park, don't worry about that. I mean, the three points here strengthens their grip to the top of the table. and put some uh, seven, seven points clear now. So, um, yeah, they'll be pleased with that. It was a... Uh, yeah, you know, so, you know, they sort of hung it out in the second half, really. The second half seemed to last, felt like it lasted an hour. It felt like it lasted for ages, but, um, yeah. But, yeah, overall, uh, they'll be pleased with that. They, they carry on. Uh, Collier's Wood gave, gave a good go, but uh, just didn't, couldn't find the back of the net at the end of the day. But, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's it here from Grand Drive, Friends Park. And it's finished Greens Park, Vale 1. Collier's with United nil. Oh, just a footnote. I've got to say, I really like Wayne's Park Vale's kit. Uh, blue kit with the red piping. It's really smart. Um, just goes to show what you can do with kits these days. You can actually have a nice kit. You know, some kits that I've seen recently aren't great. But, um, now there's good kits out there if you want them. But uh, yeah, that's that's a, just a personal reference really. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it from me. I'm not sure when I'll be back because I might be at Cambridge Island for the Robins on Saturday. Um, but um, I might go about and do a vlog from there. But I don't know what I'm doing yet. So, yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.